Good afternoon, I'm Charles Lejano, and this is One News Now. U.S. Marine Joseph Scott Pemberton says he was very happy when he learned that he was granted an absolute pardon by President Rodrigo Duterte. Pemberton's lawyer, Rowena Garcia Flores, said she talked to him on Monday night after the news broke that he had been pardoned after killing Jennifer Loud in 2014. Earlier, Garcia Flores said she was surprised at the president's decision since their camp did not apply for Pemberton's pardon. What they did apply for was reduction of sentence through the Good Conduct Time Allowance or GCTA law. Sa pagkakaalam namin sa kwenta namin nga nung inapply namin GCTA, eh Jan, uh, July 31 pa lang po dapat pinalaya na siya. Mm-hmm. So medyo po nag-uumpisa na siyang mag-impake mm-hmm. dati pa. So mm-hmm. yung pong sabi ko, sa kanya you're free. At tapos have you heard? And uh, sabi niya lang po sa akin, yeah, I got the news. Yun po, are you happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Yun lang po mm-hmm. <laughs> ang sinabi niya. Residents of barangays with the highest number of coronavirus cases are set to participate in global solidarity trials for COVID-19 vaccines. This is according to protocols approved by the government for vaccine clinical trials. Vaccine recipients for the WHO's solidarity trials will be recruited from the top 5 to 10 barangays reporting high coronavirus cases for every 1,000 residents. This data will be provided by the DOH's Epidemiology Bureau using the household census obtained from the barangay. On the other hand, private vaccine companies will be allotted equal trial zones to avoid recruitment competition for their independent clinical trials. Recall that under approved protocols, the WHO solidarity trial will be prioritized in the assignment of trial sites, but private pharmaceutical companies will not be deprived of their own subject population for independent trials. The MTRCB says it has no plans to censor Netflix content, but the regulator is still calling on video streaming services operating in the Philippines to register with the agency. MTRCB chairperson Rachel Arena says they have asked video on demand or VOD providers like Netflix to ensure that their content is age appropriate and adherent to Filipino values. In an interview with One Uses the Chiefs, Arena said Netflix has expressed willingness to comply with the agency's guidelines, which are currently being crafted and discussed with stakeholders. But Arena still urged streaming service providers to register with the MTRCB sure that their materials are age-appropriate, not pirated, and not prohibited by local laws. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine star and business world online. You can also visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live, anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.